Hello students, I welcome you all to the session on single phase and three phase supply. Before starting, we will understand the basics and understand how the electricity comes to our home. Basics. What is electricity? It is an energy made available by the flow of electric charge through a conductor. That is when the electric charges flow through a conductor, for example, wire, then we call this as a electricity. Current, a flow of electricity which results from the ordered directional movement of electrically charged particle means when the electrically charged particles flow in a speak specific direction it is a current power it is the rate of doing work measured in watts that is joules per second so we know the basic that it is the amount of energy transferred or converted per unit time power is the rate of doing work voltage the electric force that produces a flow of electricity in the circuit it is a force that produces the flow of electricity from one direction to the other expressed in volts or v conductor a substance that readily conducts something either it may be electricity or heat in this we will keep in mind the conductor of the electricity now this schematic flow of electricity from the source that is our power station to the user that is our home let's see the first is power plant where the electricity is generated then it goes to the transformer that is steps up voltage for transmission the voltage is increase the force is increase for the transmission of the current generated from the transformer it goes to the transmission line where it actually carries the current then it goes to the nearby transformer steps down the voltage because required voltage will be taken or it will be stepping down for the required volume or required quantity then distribution lines these lines or the, these are the wires which carries the current to our home so the wires which bring the current to our home is the distribution line from the distribution line means these are the line what we can see from our streets if it is an urban area or a metro area then generally the distribution lines cannot be seen they are underground from the distribution line it comes to the pole transformer the pole what is in front of our bungalow our flat our apartment is the pole transformer which steps down the voltage again before entering the homes because every time it is getting stepped down why because the voltage required in the home is pretty less than the voltage generated at the plant or the first transformer well from the pole transformer from the pole it goes to our meter the meter is used to measure the usage according to which we pay our electricity bill from the meter it goes to fuse fuse is a protecting device which melts and opens the circuit to lesser down the harmful effect of the overloading and so on from the fuse it goes to the distribution box where it distributes the current wherever required from the distribution box it's come to our room switchboard what we see the sockets the switches 
from where we switch on the light switch off the light and other appliances is the room switchboard to on or off the appliance from this switchboard there are the internal wirings which supply the current where they supply the current they supply the current to the appliances that is we what actually use it it may be our charger point it may be for the charging it may be the light it may be the air condition whatever so this was the schematic flow of the electricity generating from the power plant till our end use now let us compare or understand what is single phase and three phase supply we will see the comparison chart the first comparison parameter is definition the single phase is the power supply through one conductor one conductor means one wire in three phase supply the power supply is through the three conductors that is three wires use it is used for generally the home appliances which need low voltage in the range or up to 220 to 250 volts three phase supply is used in industry where heavy loads are there and where, where we need heavy running heavy equipments are there third is number of wires used in single phase there are two wires being used one for the phase that is one which carries the actual current and it is also called as phase wire or the live wire and the second is the neutral wire three phase has four wires three for the phase that is three for the current carrying wires and one wire for the neutral the fourth is wire color the color of the wires used are red black and green red denotes for the phase the phase wire is in red color black color wire is the neutral wire green color wire is for the earthing in the three phase supply red yellow and blue are for the phase wires or the live wires which carry current black wire for the neutral green is used for earthing so here the black and green here also the black and green means the meaning or the meaning for the wires used will be the same only the number of wires will be changed so universality or the uniformity is kept so every other your electrician will know which wire will be used for what so there will be no confusion for if we are having different electricians at different time the fifth parameter is named as they are called as split phase or simply phase or the single phase three phase is also called as ryb phase if we see the wave shape it is in this way voltage here and this is the time so it will be starting from the zero going up to 120 coming to the minus 120 and then again so this is a sinusoidal curve in the three phase we have the three wires three current forms one two and this three one two and this three here only one wire one flow is there, shown in red color and this is a three phase wire phase one phase two phase three now the voltage voltage carrying capacity in single phase is 240 volts and it is 415 volts power transfer capability how it transfers the power here there is capability is minimum power transferring capability is minimum in single phase and maximum in three phase network the network caused by the wiring system 
is simple in single phase as the number of wires used are only two one for the phase one for the neutral in three phase supply it is complicated in nature because it uses four wires three for the phase one for the neutral in tenth power failure generally single phase is uh, facing the issue of power failure occurs and the power failure in three phase does not occur losses in the transfer of the current yes there are more losses comparatively and the there are less losses in the three phase supply convertibility from single phase to three phase no it can't be converted from single phase to three phase but three phase can be converted into single phase efficiency well the efficiency of the single phase is comparatively less and the three phase efficiency is high maintenance cost is high in the single phase whereas three phase has less maintenance economically they are I means if we see how much they are economical so single phase are not that economical whereas three phase against their capability and everything they are economical if we see the power supply connection power supply connection is like this r y b n r red yellow b blue and neutral and the last one is your earthing so it is been connected only to this part consumer unit where it is being used this is the neutral and this is the earthing whereas here it is connected to r the phase 1 it is connected to yellow phase 2 it is connected to blue phase 3 neutral and other thing is also provided so it becomes pretty complex means r y b is also there three phase then the neutral and the other thing also so it becomes very complicated so what we learned we understood the basics in the basics we understood how the schematic flow and everything is there from the power of generation power generation to our switchboards and our actual appliances then we understood what is single phase and the three phase how the single phase works or what are the components everything in a comparative and a in a brief way we understood with comparing each and every point we understood how single phase and three phase supply which comes to our home is been studied that's it for now thank you